I got a lot of definition in the beginning, my brother. Suratul Quraysh. Huh? Suratul Quraysh. Huh? Makkan Surah, four verses. This is Makkan Surah. The main theme is Tawheed, monotheism. It refers to the blessing bestowed by Allah on the Quraysh inhabitants of Mecca in making the city by virtue of Kaaba a center of trade and a big place of peace and security enabling them to make two yearly trade journeys one to Yemen during winter and the other to Syria during summer and calls upon them to worship Allah alone, Lord of Kaaba, giving up imaginary gods and goddesses, inshallah. You can read it again, it will come to you. Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Quraysh were the noblest tribe of Mecca, the tribe to which belonged the Holy Prophet himself, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They had the custody of Kaaba, the central shrine of Arabia, and their possession of Mecca gave them a triple advantage. What was those triple advantage? They had a commanding influence over other tribes, huh? one advantage. Their central position facilitated trade and intercourse, which gave them both the honor and profit honor plus it gave them profit the Makkah territory being by arabian custom inviolable from the ravages of war and private views they had a secure position free from danger huh? the honor and advantage they owed to their position as a servant of the sacred shrine of kaaba huh? They owed it to Allah, huh? the honor and advantage they owed to their position as a servants of the sacred shrine of the Kaaba, they owed it to Allah. Huh? Was it not therefore right and fitting that they should adore the one true God and listen to the, his message of unity and purity brought by his prophet? In those days of general insecurity, the prestige as a custodian of Mecca enabled them to obtain covenants of security and safeguard from rulers of neighboring countries on all sides, Syria, Persia, Yemen, and Abyssinia, protecting, protecting their trade journeys in all seasons. Yes, nobody could take a... Uh, rob them if they had a caravan of 1,000 camel going each year in different places like Yemen and Syria, nobody would touch them. Okay. On account of their trade journeys to the warmth of Yemen in winter and the cooler regions of Syria in the north in summer, the Quraysh became practiced travelers merchants acquired much knowledge of the world and many arts and perfected their language as a polish medium of literary expression now clear quran says at least for this favor making Quraysh secure and morally says for accustoming 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 Quraysh. Huh? This is the first thing. Li ilafi Quraysh. Li ilafi Quraysh. Huh? So here is Li is Harfjar. Ilafi is Isam Majrur. Wahua Mudaf. Quraysh. Quraishin is Mudaf Ilehi. Mudaf, Mudaf Ilehi Harfjar. So, my brother and sister, the meaning of this, Abdullah Yusuf Ali says, for the convenience. The father convenience of security and safeguard enjoyed by the Quraysh. He, Abdullah Yusuf Ali says, Li Ilafi Quraysh has this meaning for the 
covenants for the covenants for the covenants of security and safeguard enjoyed by the Quraysh. So here is more meaning to habituate. Li ilafi is habituate to accustom, to domesticate, to refine, to civilize, you know. Li ilafi Quraysh. Now, what is ilafi? It comes like this. See, amana you minu imanu. Alafa you ulifu. And the master is alafa you ulifu ilafu. So I mesh this together to tell you, you know, ilaf is like iman, li ilafi Quraishin. Again, the next ayah. Li ilafi. Huh? Okay, li ilafi. Harshar is a majru. Wa ilafu. Is it? No, this we got to be done it. So, Ilafi is Ilafi is Islam Majrur Bilam Li Alamud Jar Kasra Jar Majrur Jar Majrur and this is Mudaf and then Quraishin Mudaf Ilay Majrur Alamatu Jarri Kasra. Fine. The second ayah again. Lilafihim realata shitai was safe. Okay. Same thing. Ilafi. Here it was li. So ilafi comes here as a badar. Huh? Beautiful. Li ilafi. Now only ilafi him. Mudaf mudafilei. But this is badal min awal majrur alamadu jarri kasra. Wahua mudaf. And whom the mirun mutasilun mudafilei. Now comes realata. I ask you, my brother and sister, uh, their covenants covering journey. Uh, this is the meaning of this. Their covenants covering journey by winter and summer. A shitau is winter. A saif is summer. Realata. But hey, why are you majur mansub? Uh, I, I, I jokingly I say. By some, uh, why are you Mansub? There was no fear anywhere there that could make you Mansub. There was no Enna or something, no Kana or something. Why are you Mansub? So here, my brother, Rihalatu, travel, journey. Uh, mansubun Bihim, it writes, Mansubun Bihim, Alamatu Nasmi Fata. But Amel, Amel, this is important. So I ask myself also, if you see something, Mansu, but we ask you a question, where is the Amal? Amil, Amil, I'm sorry, Amil. Now this is what we'll study in book three in the beginning on July 3rd. This lot of Amil thing will come in the beginning of book three. So uh, where is the Amil? Who made? Realata Mansub. So I want to explain to you. Amil fi master. Oh, why? Suleiman Yakut nice it with Amilu Nasbi fi al master. He laughed. He master can make mafulun be he. This is the master. This is Mudafilei, and he made realata mansub. So amil is this. So we have to remember that even a master can also make mafulun bihi. It comes many times. We have done it, but then we forget. We are, you know, studying so many things. So here it is mansub because of the master. Alhamdulillah, we got it. It's written here. Realata. Shetai was safe. Fine. Their trade journey, their trade journey, their trade journeys, one during winter to Yemen and the other during summer to Syria. The emphasis is on special favor of Allah upon Quraysh in enabling them to carry on the profitable. International trade, yes, international trade, leaving two years 
leaving, leading, leading, leading to yearly trade caravans for the purpose. Did you get the idea? Alhamdulillah. This is all from Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Yeah? Now Shitai is Mudafilehi, and this is Mautufun Allah safe. Fine. That is Shitai is the Mudafilehi, and, and this is Harfu Atfin and Mudafilehi. Now Amilu, I'm explaining a little bit. A word which affects a change in the case ending of a neighboring word. Neighboring word, e.g., fil baiti, the word fi, it changed the baitu from al baitu to baiti, from marfu to majroor. And karatul kitaba, the word kara has changed kitaba from marfu to mansu. In this first example, fi is the amil and baiti is mamul, and the change effected is called Amal. Huh? Now this thing we will study in book three in the beginning, inshallah. Fal yabud rabba hadal bayti. So fal yabudu. So my brothers and sisters, so let them worship the Lord of this house. Clear Quran. Let them worship the Lord of this sacred house. Okay, fine. Let them adore Yusuf Ali. The Lord of this house. So, fa, this is uh, al fau, fi jawabishat mukaddara, ai in lam jabuduhu, lisari niyamati. If they don't worship Allah for all the niyamat, the sire means widespread niyama of Allah, fal yabudu li hazihi niyamata khasa. Maskuratu. Lamu Amar. Harfun Mabnin Ala Kasra. But would became Sukun because of the Lam came. Fine. Yabadu. See, here it is actually normally, normally it is Li Yabadu. Uh, remember, li yabadu, but because fa came, it became fal yabadu. Remember that, fal yabadu instead of li yabadu. So here is we have. Uh, where does it go? Yabadu, fialun mudariun majzumun bi lam amar walamatu jazbihi adfi nun yabadu na became yabadu. Nunwa, Lianahu min Afwalul Khamsa, we know it. Al Wawul Jamati, file, yes, this is the file. Walama to Jasmi, Asfunu, Lianahu, fine. But Jumlu to Fimali, Jasmin, Jawabu Shat Mukaddara, like that. In Lam Yabuduhu, Lisairil Niamai, so that's what. But Jumlu to Uslubu Shat, fine. And then we come here, Rab, Yabadu, Rabba, Mafulun Bihi. Mafulun Bihi. Mafulun Bihi, to the exclusion of all imaginary gods and goddesses. And they should worship Allah. Okay. Rabbi. Mafulun Bihi, Mansubun, Walamatu, Nasbi, Fatah. Wa huwa mudaf. And Haza Mudafilehi. Zash Mushara, Mabdina Allah Sukun, Fi Malijar Mudafilehi. Hat the Tanfi, you can see it. Al Bay Rabbal Hazal Bayti. Badal, 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 Badal. Badal, my brother. So we got it, inshallah. Hazal Bayti. Badal. Majur Alamadu Jari Kasra. Haza Al Baiti Badal. Al Lazi. Now this is the last one. Inshallah, I'll finish it. But if I can't finish it, I'll take five minutes or so more. I don't want to rush. I work so hard to prepare this, and I don't want to ruin my presentation 
because it will be put on the YouTube. Brother Yusuf Jamal will put it on YouTube, so I would rather do it little slowly. Allah who has fed them against hunger. Allazi at Amuhu min joyi. Wa amanahum. This is the reason I went deep into this uh, surah to make a cross reference to the Asmaul Husna. Wallahu Allazi la ilaha illa huwa Malikul Quddus Salamul Mu'minun. So I, in order to cross reference, I said here, Amana, no mafulun bihi. Yes, mafulun bihi, but no harf jar. And in the other will be Amana billahi. Here, direct mafulun bihi, direct, direct, minal khawfi. So Allah ji, now that will be very easy. Huh? This is Jabadu hazal bait Allah ji. So Jabadu Rabba. Hazal Baiti Allazi Ismun Bimana Mafulun Nasbin. This is also Mafulun Bihi Allazi Rabbal Hazal Baiti Allazi Mafulun Bihi. Fine. And then Atamahum bin Joey, who gave them food against hunger and makes them secure against fear. Abdullah Yusuf Ali, who provides them with food against hunger and with security against fear of danger. So here, my brother and sister, Allazi ismu mausula fi mali nasbin mafulun bihi. Okay. Ata'ama fi'alu ma'adin mabnun ala fata fa'il mustatir taqidiru huwa that is Allah wal jumlatu min fi'al wa fa'il la mahan laha min al-airaq silatul mausul this became all silatul mausul silatul mausul wa hum ata'ama hum this is mafulun bihi this is your mafulun bihi Huh? This is your mafulun bihi. Huh? Farm four. Farm four. Atama yuti imu silatul mausul. And that is your mafulun bihi. Whom is mafulun bihi? Jumla is silatul mausul. Mafulun bihi, inshallah. Min harfshar, fine. Ju'i is starvation. Ismu majrurun min alamatu jarri ismu majrurun wa bi bi atum min alam bil min bi min wa alamatu jarri kasra wa jarun wa majrurun mutalikun bi fi'al atama fine that's good good enough and then we come here see here we come to amana amana Farm four. Huh? Amana, farm four. He made safe and secure. Huh? And it is coming from farm one. Amina also to be safe, you know. But Amana B means to believe. Huh? So here we come, brothers and sisters. Arfu Atfin, wow. Amana Fiel Madi. Mabnina La Fata, very good. File Damir Mustatir Jawazan Takdiru Hua, that is Allah, but Jumlatu min fail wa file la mahal la min al Arab, Mautufun Allah, Silatul Mausul, you know, it is Mautufun Allah, Silatul Allah zi atamahu min joi wa amana, so Silatul Mautufun Allah, Silatul Mausul, that was before, but whom amana whom. Now, this is the most beautiful thing. Mafulun bihi. Direct mafulun bihi. And when you say amana billahi, billahi is indirect. Not straight away mafulun bihi. Mafulun bihi, bi wasati, 
vivasatati harfcha. You know, that is the way it is given. Done. Min harfujar. Khawfi. Min khawfi. Alhamdulillah, I, I finished it. Pardon me if I little bit said hurriedly. Because I don't want to. You have already waited two hours listening. So khawfun fear. Fear. Khawfun is fear, dread, threat, apprehension in their trade travels and in against the foreign invaders. Huh? There was a fear. But Allah protected them. Refer, this is all in the Quran, you know. The grace was granted in response to the prayers of their ancestor Ibrahim. Yes! All this favor of Allah to the Makkans was the result of the, of the prayer of Ibrahim alayhi salam when he came with his son and his wife and leave, left them in, in uh, Mecca and he prayed for their safety and Allah responded to that prayers. Alhamdulillah. So that is also here. That thing is here, brother. Uh, refer. Surah Al-Baqarah, pray number, verse number 126. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 126, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, my brother. Khawfun, we got it. Fear. Uh, we are only learning this khawfun, fear. Alhamdulillah, my brother. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Oh, subhanallah. I, I did it in time, alhamdulillah. Jazakumlahu khairan, my brothers and sisters. Next week, uh, we will do uh, our surah. I'll send you the PDF and details, everything. Inshallah, you'll like it. See, brother uh, Rizwan and surah, uh, sister Marina, they are also contributing a lot. May Allah reward them for their services for our Zoom classes. And you are all benefiting from their work, you know. Alhamdulillah. So as I was saying, this Surutu Quraysh, I requested them and they did it. And I studied it, but I studied about 75%. As you can see, uh, in the end, there were no, no uh, highlighted anything. I wasn't sure. I was going to be able to do it, but I did it, alhamdulillah. And there will be a separate uh, recording for Surah, Surah to Quraysh also, inshallah. And I'll send you other PDFs that I've received from Surah to, from Sister Marina and Brother Rizwa. Now, you see what they have done? It, it is their teamwork. It is not one person's show. Half the job, Brother Rizwan does it, and the other half, Sister Marina does it. May Allah reward them abundantly, without measure, in this life and in the next life. And I hope and pray they will continue their support to us, inshallah. May Allah bless you all, my brothers and sisters, for your time of sacrifice. to study and understand the Quran and the Arabic language as a hasanat in your scale of good deeds. May Allah bless you all, your spouses and your children with excellent health, barakat in your rizq, your job, your business, your careers, your profession, in your education, and in the education of your children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with strong memory and deep knowledge of Arabic to understand in depth the message of Quran so that we all feel the miracle of the Quran in our hearts. Ameen.
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enlighten our homes and our families with the nur, the light of the Quran, and instill this nur in our children. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. May Allah keep us all safe and protected from the evil of this virus. May Allah protect the Muslim Ummah all around the world, wherever they may be residing from the evil of this virus. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the humanity at large from the evil of this virus. Inshallah, we'll see you next Sunday with a new surah. Keep safe, stay healthy, wear mask when you go out and observe physical distancing and the guidelines of the health authorities. Rabbana, atina fi dunya asanatam wa fil akhirati asanatam wa kina azaban naam. Rabbana, hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunim. Vajalna lil muttakina imama. Rabbana, takabal minna. Inna ka anta samiul alim. Vatubu alayna. Inna ka anta tawabu rahim. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati. Amma yasifuna. Vasalamu ala al mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Shazakum mulau khair, my brother and sister. See you next Sunday. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته